we're at Eclectic Gallery and we have our Modern Visionary show. And it's really probably the most exciting show that we've produced all year. And it's so fascinating because all of the work is coming from private collections, so it's all consigned to us. And it's, it's work by many of the 20th century's most important artists in Victoria. And so work from um, the Limners group, um, this is Fleming Jorgensen, uh, original painting, 1961. Uh, so many uh, amazing pieces came to us from uh, private collectors. So they've been cherished and loved in various people's homes and for reasons of downsizing, moving, what have you, um, the, the work has surfaced. And so we're really thrilled to, to be able to represent this whole body of work. And to me, one of the things that it shows is how these artists were at the forefront of their game. They were really pushing boundaries and pushing the limits. And they, I feel, um, they were responsible for bringing modernism to Victoria. Uh, you have to consider Victoria in the 50s, for instance, was a very provincial, small capital city. And the aesthetic probably reflected more from the 19th century of pastoral landscapes and, you know, uh, sweeping, um, you know, very beautiful scenes, but not really um, vital <laughs> in, in terms of our, our lifestyles. And um, people like Siebner and um, Maxwell Bates and you know many many I mean I'm sure many of you know the Limners. They brought a punchiness. They brought um, a sense of um, of expression to their work, and so they they shook up the, the whole foundation of our our cultural uh, society, and they made us think. They made us think of you know for instance you know Picasso um, was doing abstract painting in the 1920s. <laughs> And nobody understood it, you know. And it's like, and people generally dropped out of of cultural artistic consciousness in the 20s. You know, they they stopped trying to perceive what art was about. And uh, these artists forged ahead, and they broke through so many boundaries, and they they created an art audience for their own work, and it was an international audience. So many of these artists were renowned internationally, and they lived and worked in this city. So to me, that is a f fabulous um, uh, a collection, archive, history. Um, they have a lot to, to show us. And um, it's wonderful to realize that when you see the show, uh, it's work from all different artists, all different, you know, within like a 50-year range, but it's very cohesive. You know, there's something underlying that, that you can see, oh, yes, I see those ideas, and here they are repeating here. And um, I think that... You know, we should be very proud of our cultural heritage, and this is a great example of um, very affordable art and art that um, will only appreciate in value. And so it's, it's been a very successful show, and we really encourage everybody to come see it. Okay. Thank you.
No, this is not. Okay. 